The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close. Kids are still sleeping, but I'm gonna get ready. Well, at least put on some warm clothes because I peeked outside and I saw snow. It snowed just a little bit. It looks like just a little bit as they covering some white, but I'm so happy. The kids are gonna be so excited. You guys, I can't believe it snowed. I wish I could share the jo joy I feel right now. It is so windy out though and so cold, but so beautiful. Oh my goodness, and it's actually still flurrying. <gasps> How is this real life? Look at the look of pure joy on my face. I read somewhere on Instagram that snow, essentially was saying that snow um, absorbs, I don't know if it absorbs a lot of the sound waves, but something along those lines. So that's why it's always so peaceful and quiet when it snows. I know this isn't a lot of snow, but it's just so beautiful. Cold, <laughs> windy. The kids are gonna be so excited. I cannot wait to wake them up. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my warm cup of coffee. I forgot my hat. That's the only thing. Yesterday we came back in the house from walking outside, looking at the lights, and my ears, like internally they hurt so bad. I don't know if anybody else's ears hurt when it's when they're cold. I'm gonna try to enjoy this moment because this is, this is nice. I come from New York, by the way. For those that don't know, I've lived there basically my entire life. Came to America when I was three, but I've lived in the same area in New York, central New York, my entire life. So f snow is something I grew up with. And I feel like you, I never really appreciated it. Like I've always loved snow. Hated the cold, but I loved snow. And I was always excited to like see it falling and how beautiful it is, especially during Christmas time. But I don't think it was until I moved away <laughs> and we don't have snow that I'm like, oh, I miss it so much. Just for a little bit though, just for like the holiday season. <laughs> Oh yeah, they have a little fitness center. Open six to ten. Want to do some cardio? I'm gonna do uh, exercise. You can't do exercise. And I guess this is the restaurant. I can't get over how pretty it is. This is pretty. I need this. If I have a little like seating area booth breakfast. This is so cute. I really like this. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light. I am right where I wanna be. I will be home for a couple of days. Wander around with you. You and me in the cold. Thought it never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running. There is no. We just got back from a breakfast. Breakfast area is really cute. It's the Timberlake restaurant and they have breakfast for kids. It's like $6. You can choose from French toast, waffles, and scrambled eggs and things like that. We got Eggs Benedict, which was, it was okay. It was like the best, but the sitting area is really cute. They have two fireplaces, nice and cozy, wood details everywhere. The Both fireplaces we're working in on 
but the kids went outside I, I can actually see them right now playing I'm gonna show you guys them but I went back to the room because I have to finish editing the vlogmas that I want to have up today since I didn't edit it finish editing it last night so I'm like I'm just gonna go back to the room finish editing it put on some makeup and then we're all gonna go head up together is by that time it's probably gonna be time to check out anyway but it the snow stopped well it's kind of flurrying a little bit but it's the sun came out and it is probably even more beautiful i'm gonna show you guys the view hi guys they're right there i don't know if you can see them you're making snowballs actually snowed quite a bit like to cover everything maybe like half an inch or so Look at them making the little snowballs. Aww. It's like you get the best of both worlds. You don't get six months of winter like we do in New York. So it's still, you know, pretty good. And the weather's decent. If we could move anywhere, I feel like we would really love, like, this part of North Carolina. It's really nice. Like, the mountain ranges, you're about at almost 4,000 feet elevation. Maybe, like, 3,500 up to 4,000 around here. It's really really nice. I grabbed a few packets of half and half from the breakfast room because I wanted to make myself some coffee here and my husband did buy milk but something about half and half it's like so much creamier than milk and then they just have um, like non-dairy creamer which is like not it for me so I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee because I didn't really have time to finish that one and they do have like I said a little sink area here and basically a little fridge so you can bring certain things to refrigerate it's a very small mini fridge but have our bathing suits hanging there kind of drying in the back since they do have a coin laundry on site though but we're just gonna ignore that got my coffee it's nine o'clock my checkout is at 11. i feel like my kids are gonna come back i just washed my face so i want to do my skincare and makeup really fast i feel like they're gonna come back and be like you didn't edit the video yet <laughs> No. Lesson learned is to, I don't care how tired you are, you do it when you can because then otherwise this is what happens. But there's this face oil. It's actually sent to me, but it's quite expensive. It's from the brand Botanical Republic. It's their Restore Youth Serum. I do have a 20% off referral code. It has amazing ingredients and it's an amazing face oil. So I'm sure the price reflects just how great it is. And I also do believe there are probably really great affordable options there as well, but I'm using this one because it was sent to me. And I feel like this is the only thing that has been really helping combat my super dry skin as of now. My skin's always dry, but in the winter time I feel like it suffers even more. And I have the snail mucin and all of that, and that's been really helping add like a boost of hydration. But, it, but when it comes to actual dry patches, if that's something that anybody deals with, I recommend this is like a it's a serum but it's an oil serum so sometimes I use this just on its own and it really helps like you can feel that it's like a little bit oily it just really really helps to keep those dry patches at bay and I love their entire line I have their cleanser and their moisturizer as well all right we're just we need to we need to get it together all right we're all packed up ready to go we gotta put our stuff in the car and then I wanna take a picture or two outside. The snow is melting, so sad, but it's still so beautiful. I'm so glad we got to actually see the snow. And we really enjoyed our stay here. Uh, I think, I don't know if it's Chitola or Chetola. Let me know if you're local and you know, or you know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna put our stuff in the car and then we wanna drive to downtown Boone and maybe stop by a coffee shop there, kind of walk around see what that's like since it's only 10 minutes away so I'm just like might as well right Ugh, so gorgeous just gorgeous Better losing your bells drinking up wine by the fire don't care we made it to Boone. I was looking at the photo of elevation and Boone is actually a couple hundred feet lower than Blowing Rock. Blowing Rock at is at 35. Boone is at 3300 the elevation but there's a little local coffee shop we want to go to I think this is their main strip here and it kind of started snowing so cute if I got a dollar for every time I said so cute in this vlog I'd have a lot of dollars y'all it's called Talia's cafe let's try it out just found it on Google Maps lift me up Talia espresso 
Oh, this is so cute. There goes another dollar. They have a state university there. So this strip, uh huh, this strip kind of reminds me of Lake Placid, where you can actually walk the main street. Remember that? Yeah. And it's like all nice and Christmassy. Blowing Rock didn't really seem to have something like that. To get out in the snow, lighting a light with you. Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring. Nobody loves you as much as I do It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling It is that time of the year Drinking hot wine by the fire Here on our own we got nothing to fear So we decided to stop by Grandfather Mountain. This is a state park. Just wanted to see since it was like 15-20 minutes away. And then size throwing snowballs. Home sweet home. Chai, did you miss us? You're so cuddly and snuggly. Our sweet girl. So funny story time. I'm almost done unpacking. You just gotta do like the makeup and the toiletries and stuff. And I'm all done unpacking. I had my husband go throw in some laundry. I'm just gonna put on a pimple patch. I have these with micro darts on them. I have been loving pimple patches, especially since I'm someone that cannot not mess with my pimples so they help cover them up and slowly heal them. I have like two really bad ones that I just keep messing with over and over and over again. But these are kind of cool because they have these tiny little micro darts on them and you can feel them when you apply it to your skin. But anyway, funny story time. We came home and we're like, man, it smells like a stink bug in here. Well, like Chai for sure killed a stink bug while we were gone. It just straight up smelled like a stink bug. And then I went to go in our bedroom to put stuff away. And then I look at the bathroom door, which is right here. Just playing with like a paper bag. And I'm like, no. It was basically closed. It was like cracked open. Probably like that much. Maybe, no, maybe less. Which I'm surprised because I feel like cats can squeeze into the smallest crevices. But I guess that wasn't enough for Chai because... We knew. I looked at the litter and it was still brand spanking new and I'm like, no. She was definitely peeing and pooping somewhere. And it was in the kids room. There was like a little area where there's no carpet. And we found <laughs> little poops on the floor. And then I guess she was doing it all in one spot. So that's good. But clean that up. That's taken care of. But I told the kids, I'm like, don't leave the door open before you go. Like make sure everybody pees before they go, but leave it open. Did that happen? No, it did not happen. At least she didn't pee like on the carpet or somewhere because then I feel like that would smell for forever. Can't remember where I finished off the vlog, but all showered up, nice and squeaky clean. I let the kids watch the movie The Star. We watched it so many times. I think I purchased it on Amazon Prime. It's such a great Christmas film in my opinion. But I'm gonna go ahead and start editing the footage so I can have it ready for tomorrow because lesson learned. Um, put in a load of laundry and my husband should be bringing it back now. And I'm just gonna fold it and put it away. So when we get back from a trip, usually it's just like cleaning, putting everything back and nothing fun. I do wanna wrap their presents. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow when they go to bed because the Christmas tree is filled with like Amazon boxes and things like that. So I need to wrap those. And then in another vlog, I think we'll do like gingerbread houses. I feel like that would be fun. There's four. I got a, four little mini ones at Aldi. So it turns out that Grandfather Mountain is not the highest peak east of the Mississippi. It is actually Mitchell Mountain, which we did pass on the way to Blue Ridge Parkway towards Asheville. We like to go there and drive through. It's so beautiful, especially during the fall time. And then Beach Mountain is the highest ski resort. It's the ski resort with the highest elevation and community east of the Mississippi. But I would highly recommend going there if you're like an hour or two or three away. When we lived in New York, we used to drive about three hours to go to Lake Placid every single Christmas and it was so worth it. We just love it. It's just a great family friendly activity. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out for today's Vlogmas and I really hope to see you guys in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas with you